and I welcome back to the channel Monica Love here at the Love Messages. So today we're going to be doing your reading from the 5th to the 11th of July. This is going to be a general reading so it may resonate with you, it may not. If it does resonate with you there will be a link in the description box for the extended. So Gemini, in this reading I'm going to be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm going to clarify the cards and pull some advice. Okay, so your challenge, Gemini, is the Two of Wands. And what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the Hierophant in reverse. Okay. All right, so uh, your challenge, Gemini, Two of Wands. There's definitely something here uh, that's talking about your path in life. Okay, where are you going? What are you doing? What is the direction that you want to take moving forward? Okay, for others of you, the two of wands could be talking about you and a specific person being in separation. I'm really getting here that there's something here uh, guiding you on some sort of direction or path in your life. We're going to see what the two of wands is all about when we clarify. In the recent past, you have the hermit, the ace of cups, and the tower. In the past, it looks like there was new love. Here with the Ace of Cups, you have the Hermit as well too, and the Tower. So someone here in the past, okay, could have been your person, was in their head about this new beginning with you, may have caused a Tower moment here in the past. We're going to see when we clarify. In the present moment, you have the Sun, the Page of Swords, and the Page of Wands. I feel like in the present moment, there's definitely possibly... A situation in your life Gemini where you have the Sun there's a lot of happiness in the present moment you're definitely moving into some sort of new direction here okay with the page of wands there's definitely something that you could be researching you could be looking into some of you are watching someone or spying on someone maybe someone spying on you here we're gonna clarify what this means in a moment in the near future you have the ace of swords the moon and the five of Pentacles I feel like in the near future, there's a possibility of some sort of truth and clarity that you find out, that you, you seek. There's some sort of information here that you find out and that you seek. There's something here that I feel like, you know, in the near future is hidden from you, but you dig so far deep to find the truth about this situation. We're going to find out what this is when we clarify. What you don't see coming, Gemini, is the Hierophant in reverse. You have the Judgment the nine of cups in reverse the three of cups in reverse the five of cups in reverse and the page of cups in reverse i'm really getting here that for many of you in the recent past because most of these cards are in reverse so in the recent past there could have been some sort of falling out that you had in relation to some sort of commitment or connection that you were in okay something came to a major realization here whether that was you or the person that you were committed to we do have the hierophant here in reverse some of you were committed to this person or engaged or you saw yourself really being with this person there's something here about someone in the recent past trying to apologize um, but maybe they weren't they weren't able to really get their apology through to you all right we have the five of cups in reverse and the three of cups in reverse someone here just really possibly you know found something out and they got over it very very quickly something about not having a reconciliation or feeling like you're not going to reconcile with this person i'm also getting that someone here really gave a lot up okay in some sort of commitment or connection um 
it's like sacrificing, you know, nine of cups in reverse is like a sacrifice for me with the judgment here and the hierophant. So, you know, there's something here um, about self-love, somebody really wanting to focus on that or choosing to focus on that ever since a breakup happened or falling out in a connection or commitment, okay? So this is what I'm seeing in terms of what you don't see coming. I see if this is something that happened to you, I see you getting over it very quickly. Five of Cups is there in reverse. Okay, so let's talk about the challenge for you. Now the challenge here, you have the two of wands. Let's clarify the two of wands. Two of Wands is clarified by the Star, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Seven of Pentacles. So your challenge has a lot to do with some sort of path that you're choosing to take moving forward in the future. Okay, there's something here, Gemini, about you investing a lot. You've invested a lot of time or energy into something, maybe through your work. There's something here about your finances. So your challenge has a lot to do with you planning or preparing for the future in terms of maybe some sort of savings that you have some sort of finance this is very financial that i'm getting here okay for others of you there was recently a breakup that you had with someone and what that breakup has done it's actually really awakened you to connect more with your future it's really gotten you into this place of wow i really need to wake up i really need to choose a path i really need to choose what it is um what direction it is that I want to move into, okay? So your challenge has a lot to do with work, how you're planning on investing your energy and time moving into the future, okay? So let's talk about the recent past. I'm going to clarify the tower in the recent past. The tower is clarified by the Ace of Cups, the King of Wands, and the Temperance. In the recent past, I'm seeing some of you are dealing with a Sagittarius here, could have been a Virgo in the past, someone who embodies that type of energy. I'm getting a very silent type. It's like strong but silent type here, okay? Someone who's not really expressive, okay? But they have this essence that you like. You really like this person for their essence. Beautiful brand new beginning happened here in the past between you and this person. And what I'm getting, Gemini, is there was a lot of love. There was a lot of overflow of abundance here. Okay, but what happened here in the past was somebody could have been your person, uh, fire sign, I'm also getting Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. This person moved very slowly in the past, very, very slowly. Let's clarify the hermit in the past. The hermit is clarified by the page of swords, the ten of cups, and the ace of wands a lot of you pressured this person in the past okay could have been vice versa but i'm getting um pressure is maybe not the best word to use but this is what i'm seeing here a lot of you had some sort of expectation when it came to this person and there's something about this person always being in their head about you always overthinking things you know it's like even overthinking a new beginning with you a lot of you wanted to have a new beginning with this person but you may have said to yourself, look, where is this going? Where are we going with this? Do we have a plan? Do you see me in the future with you? Do you see, you know, there's a lot of pressure here and this person was moving too slowly and they were constantly in their head about this, okay? So it may have crumbled between you and this person because things were just, you know, not moving at maybe the pace that you had wanted it to. Now, in the present moment, I see you here, Page of Swords. I'm really getting you are the Page of Swords because in the present moment, you know that if this is your story, there's a need, Gemini, for you to start making plans to move forward. And I think based on what I'm seeing here, you have the sun at the center of your reading, which is very beautiful energy. 
this is telling me a lot of you are starting to have some sort of illumination that's coming into your life. You're realizing things. You know, the Page of Swords in Tarot doesn't only mean spying and watching. It also means realizing facts, information through self. Okay, so a lot of you are doing research about a new beginning. We're going to find out what this new beginning, um, this new direction actually it is that you're going to be taking in your life. But first, I want to clarify the sun because I feel like in the present moment, there's a very um, important message here that you need to know with the sun. Let's clarify. This is a Joker card, so I'll pull another card for you. All right. So Gemini, the sun is clarified by the King of Swords, the Three of Swords, and the Queen of Cups. In the present moment, it's it's really, really important for you to remember with the sun here, because the sun is one of the most positive cards in the tarot. A lot of you are using positive energy in the present moment to get over some sort of breakup, some sort of pain that you've had. It's interesting because Gemini, even though you are still hurt over some sort of painful situation that happened between you and this person, I still feel like you have a lot of love for this person. I still feel like you're still connected to them. Uh, you often think about this person often is what I'm getting with the sun and the three of swords here. And there's something here about strength Okay, you're, you know, you're going through a, a very tough situation right now, but it's propelling you into a new direction. It's helping you be in touch with some sort of understanding, understanding, overstanding that even though, even though you are into some sort of pain right now, it's actually what is allowing you to transmute. Okay, this is a very transformative energy that you are going through in the present moment. You're not really showing people that you're 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 sad or you're hurt. You have this this glow. It's like this energy of I'm still going to push forward. I'm still going to move forward, even though there is something that I'm still getting over in the present moment. And I think this is what is pushing you in the present moment to possibly prepare to move into some sort of new direction. So what is this new direction all about for Gemini in the present moment? Page of Wands is clarified by the King of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Four of Swords. Yeah. Wow. You're transmuting your energy right now. I'm I am very proud of you. And I rarely say that to anybody in any readings. I'm very proud of you. You're transmuting this energy, um, painful situation. You know, you still have love for this person, but you're accepting something here in the present moment. You want to move towards your finances. This is what's on your mind right now. Financial goals, financial obligations that you have here, long-term investments that you're going to be making. I see you healing in the present moment, okay? I see you really doing research, gathering information, and moving forward in your life. Tell me more about the Page of Swords in the present moment. There's that strength card. I said it and there it is, right? Strength, magician, and the hermit. Don't be fooled by the pain that you've gone through in the present moment, Gemini, because what this pain is doing is it's actually propelling you into a new direction and it's showing you what you need to do in order to overcome this situation, okay? So good job, you're doing great. In the near future, I see you finally getting some sort of truth and clarity. I'm gonna clarify the five of pentacles. Five of Pentacles is clarified by the Queen of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Knight of Wands, okay? I see someone here slowly um, moving out of some sort of situation that is not beneficial to them anymore. This could be someone around you is what I'm getting, okay? There's something here um, that is hidden, okay, from you. And it may involve three people here in the near future. Tell me more about the moon. 
The moon is clarified by the chariot, the hanged man, and the page of wands. Whatever it is in the near future that you find out, Gemini, it's like you already knew this was going to happen. You already knew it was going to happen. So I see you preparing in the present moment for something that you know is already going to happen. And there's something here about pure confirmation. You get some sort of confirmation, especially because you've already received the signs and synchronicities in regards to some sort of commitment or connection that maybe you were in at some point. Something here gets revealed. Okay, so let's find out what is revealed with the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords is clarified by the Two of Pentacles, the Judgment, and the Six of Pentacles. A lot of you in the near future, um, you're going to receive some sort of information, okay? And it is going to bring about some sort of realization, and I feel like a decision is going to be made here um, in the new, near future. And it could have a lot to do with a commitment or connection that you maybe were once in, or one that... You know, a lot of you are worried about this situation, but in the near future, you're not going to be worried about it because everything that you already knew comes to light and it's just confirmation. It's pure confirmation. So what is the advice here? The advice is the nine of wands, the six of wands and the justice. A lot of you are still um, asking yourself, why wasn't something fair in my life? Why wasn't the situation fair? Okay. Your advice here is to completely possibly give up on some sort of situation that you know isn't fair, that you know isn't right for you. Justice in reverse, nine of wands in reverse. And there's something here, Gemini, that you're learning. It's a big, big lesson. What you're learning now, okay, is that you could be happy and victorious on your own. You don't need to bring certain people along with you. Some of you thought, oh, I need to have friends. I need to have this. I need to have that person around me. No, you could be successful on your own. And I think what your challenge has a lot to do with is what are some of the ways or things that you can do in order to find success within yourself? Okay, because the six of wands is all about self. It's all about other people looking up to you and you creating some sort of embodiment of success through yourself. Whether you've gone through a breakup or you've gone through something that has really affected you on a deep level, you're not allowing some sort of situation to hold you back because intuitively you already know how it's going to end up. Okay. So there's something here about you needing to prepare to possibly move into a new direction and be victorious on your own for the time being. Okay. So Gemini, this is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one.